Hi everyone. The 21st of December marks the summer solstice for the Southern Hemisphere and it's also known as the first day of astronomical summer. But what exactly happens on Tuesday? Let's look at the bigger picture and we all know that the Earth is at a tilt on its axis and on the 21st of December it's almost as if the South Pole is completely tilted towards the Sun and the North Pole away from the Sun where the Sun rays will shine directly over the tropic of Capricorn which marks the longest day of the year for the Southern Hemisphere and the shortest day of the year for the Northern Hemisphere. But the summer solstice will be accompanied by stormy conditions on Tuesday so let's look at your forecast. <music> On Tuesday, we still have a cut of low weather system strengthening just off the west coast. We'll bring more stormy conditions across South Africa with a band of isolated to scattered thunderstorms expected to move over large parts of the Northern Cape as well as the crew, the Western Eastern Cape and becoming scattered over KwaZulu-Natal with only isolated thunderstorms for Central and Eastern South Africa. The South African Weather Service is warning against the possibility of severe thunderstorms which could lead to disruptive rainfall and large amounts of hail over parts of the Northern Cape and this includes part of the Great Karoo on Tuesday. It's a foggy start to your Tuesday morning for parts of the west coast with also some cloud expected over the south and the central parts. A southerly wind blowing and becoming hot to very hot into the afternoon. 29 in Cape Town, temperature in the mid 30s for the central part with isolated thunderstorms expected to move in from the north. Also becoming stormy from the afternoon over parts of the crew and isolated thunderstorms expected to reach the little Karoo. It's a foggy start to your Tuesday morning for the eastern Cape with a northeasterly wind blowing moderate to fresh along the coast and then becoming stormy from late afternoon over large parts of the Eastern Cape. In Kuzili Natal, a northeasterly wind blowing along the coast. It's also foggy at first with mostly cloudy skies. A few isolated showers possible in the morning along the coast and then isolated to scatter thunderstorms expected from late afternoon. A foggy start to your Tuesday for the Eastern Escarpment and parts of Mpumalanga later becoming partly cloudy with isolated thunderstorms expected to become scattered over the south. In Limpopo, it's a hot to very hot today, partly cloudy skies with a few Apache thunderstorms in the forecast. Also becoming warm to very warm in northwest, a few isolated thunderstorms expected from late afternoon with a high of 28 degrees in Freiburg. In the Northern Cape, a northerly wind picking up and then later a westerly wind expected over the central and western parts with a band of isolated to scattered thunderstorms spreading over large parts of the Kalahari and the Karoo. It's a stormy Tuesday later for parts of the Free State with only a few isolated thunderstorms possible over the north. Partly cloudy skies of four Halting on Tuesday with a high of 24 degrees in Johannesburg and a 30% chance of thunderstorms developing. And then into Wednesday, we are expecting more stormy conditions across South Africa. Showers and thunderstorms also now moving over the coastal areas of the Western and the Eastern Cape and later spreading over large parts of Kuzulu Natal. Stormy conditions will continue into Thursday, especially over the Eastern Cape, parts of Lesotho and KwaZulu Natal. Well, that's all from me. And remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together.